Here they come, billions and billions of winged bugs, the so-called brood two, or 17-year cicadas. Once ground temperatures reach 64 degrees, the red-eyed critters will emerge, singing for sex from the Carolinas to Connecticut. We'll see them, we'll feel them landing on us, we'll smell their rotting shells, animals will taste them, and we all will certainly hear them. If you live along the I-95 corridor, be prepared for the sound of a rock concert of sorts everywhere you go. The sound of cicadas as a whole can reach over 90 decibels, which is equivalent of a rock concert. So for people that are, are uh, concerned in that respect, it's a good time to bring out those earplugs. The insects aren't harmful to humans. They mate, lay eggs, and disappear for another 17 years, all in the course of four to six weeks. Research is ongoing as to how they know the time has come to come out. One idea is that they're sensing those growth periods of the tree and they can track time that way. Um, but it's not clearly known how they know that it's reached 17 years. The males emerge, take a week to become an adult, attach to a tree, and start to sing. They'll start singing and then they'll they sing individually or they might group, go into a chorus with other males and then to attract females um, to them. For the next two months, the mating chorus will drown out hundreds of events, from weddings to outdoor graduations. Now, there really are no control options for cicadas. They only come and visit us every 17 years with the brood twos, so it's really just a time to enjoy their natural presence. So find some earplugs, don't let your dog eat too many, and figure the silence in July will be golden. Tom Ritchie, Associated Press.